So it is pretty early morning here, um, but I thought I'm just about to do a trip and I really want to take these shoes with me. So I thought I'd do a really quick unboxing before heading off to the airport. So I picked these up from the Decorum, uh, which is a new menswear store in uh, Singapore. It's really, really good. I highly re recommend a visit if you're in the area or um, live in Singapore. And it is a Croc and Jones pair. So the store has a bunch of stuff. It's got uh, suits, um, shirts, loads of shoes, loads of um, different varieties you can choose from. And uh, it's really nice to have a, finally have a Croc and Jones kind of place or place you can get Croc and Jones from. So let me just zoom this in a bit. So, uh, what did I pick today? This is not something I have ever really thought of getting before, so it's a bit unusual, and it's probably going to divide a lot of people in general, in terms of its style, it has divided a lot of people, so let me flip this open. It's a penny loafer with tassels. So you might have seen some of the other videos I've done um, with Croc and Jones uh, loafers. So I think I've got a few pairs, Suede, uh, Boston, and several other ones. I think there's maybe four other ones if you want to watch those videos as well. So this is the first time I've gone with a tassel variant and it kind of divides opinion. You know, some people really hate the tassels, some people really love them. You can wear it with, let me just take one of these out, you can wear it with casual or you know, kind of smart attire. So you could wear this with a suit, you could get, wear this with jeans, you could probably get away with this in um, take this out, in shorts and things like that as well. So I think it's very flexible, but it certainly comes down to a matter of uh, taste. Let's get it on out. So these are from the main collection of Croc and Jones. They retail for, I think it's £485. So that's like, I think it's around 550, 600 US dollars. But they will, I know people always kind of question the price when it comes to Croc and Jones sometimes. So, uh, I mean, these ones again will last a lifetime. You know, they're, they're Goodyear welted, so they can be completely resold. So starting off at the back, um, this is burnished calf leather. And you know, this is very, I like the way this ages actually. Some of the other shoes I've got, you can get a nice patina. I mean, obviously it depends on how you polish it. Um, but over time, I think these get better with age. So you've got the front, it's pretty basic. It's, you know, you just got the tassels here. One thing I do like is sometimes on some loafers, I, when they have a little, I can't remember the name of it, have a little bit of leather across here. When you're walking, they can fold and you get a line here. So these are quite clean in that regards. And you can get these models without uh, the tassels as well. This one's called Cavendish. And uh, yeah, I think it's a really good looking shoe. You do have the options. This comes in a bunch of colors, maybe seven different colors. So you've got um, Cordovan, you've got um, got darker leather, you've got like a burgundy, um, so it comes in quite a lot of different options to choose from. And the loafers do come in lined and unlined, so you can see this is, you know, lined. If you want more, you know, a lighter version, you can go the unlined. I think, you know, I don't really have a preference, I like both versions and I've got both versions, so they're both extremely comfortable. And I think if you're going for more of a summer shoe, then you might want to go with like a suede and the suede, um, the suede ones feel significantly lighter than this. So in terms of the, the, the loafer, it's actually surprising that the, this is such a modern uh, design. So the penny loafer actually only came around in the 1930s and was kind of derived from, um, I think it was from Norwegian 
uh, fishermen in their moccasins. So the penny loaf came around in the 1930s, and then I believe the tassel, there was a story that it kind of, I think Alden, um, a US shoemaking brand, created the first penny loafer with a tassel, and uh, that was commissioned by some Hollywood actor uh, around 1947, 48, or something like that. So it's actually quite a modern design. And uh, this particular last is used, uh, this particular model has been around for 30 years with Crockett and Jones. And this last is a last that's used on the Coniston, which I think I've done a review on. And uh, yeah, multiple other shoes, but it's very, very comfortable. Um, what else is to say? So this also does have an option uh, to come with this, what they call the City Sole. So these are beautiful soles. So the City Sole is a rubber um, variant of that. And again, it depends where you live. If you're gonna be somewhere where it rains a lot, these might be a bit, you know, too slippy for you. Uh, what a lot of people do is, you know, you can get, you can protect the, the, the toe with like a metal cap on that, or you can, you know, put a strip of rubber. That's gonna be like a couple of bucks to do that. So always worthwhile if you, you know, wanna either, well, you know, reduce the slippage or uh, just increase the, you know, how long these shoes last. So, uh, overall, they're really, really good. I'm looking forward to wearing these. Uh, I'm going to put them on now before I get on the plane. And, yeah, I think uh, I'm still kind of torn between the style, but I think I'm going to like them. They looked really good when I was trying them on. And it's always good to, you know, change up your style a bit or try new things. So, should be should be fun to see what it pairs with. Again, I think you can get away with jeans, shorts... Um, and you know different types of suits so these uh, should be a very versatile shoe but uh, let me know what you think see if you you know do you like the tassels do you hate the tassels do you like the shoe um, let me know thanks for watching